Bolat Chinubo has directed the National Economic Council NEC, led by Vice President Kashim Shatima, to begin the process of working on interventions to eliminate the impact of petrol subsidy removal on Nigerians. Ogo State Governor Dakwa Biodun disclosed this uh, after leading some major oil marketers on a costly call on Tinubu at the presidential villa Abuja. Addressing the State House correspondent after the meeting, he said uh, that the marketers were in the villa to express solidarity with the president for his bold decision to end subsidy payment. He noted that Tinubu's action showed his determination and uh, courage to remove the uh, devil uh, that has been affecting us for decades, talking about the subsidy removal. Now, the governor noted that there would be some discomfort on some part of the people, and of course, the move will eventually pay off, as there can be no gains without paying. He said the country was spending about $4 trillion yearly on subsidy, which henceforth will be taken to the Federation Account Allocation Committee for sharing among the three tiers of government. Now, we'll be discussing um, matters arising as far as the first subsidy is concerned, and we are being joined by Comrade Ogiva Isaac. Uh, he's the NAS South South Secretary General. Thank you so much for joining us, Comrade. Good morning, Good morning dear. And of course, from my extreme left is Comrade Emmanuel Obidi. He's the president Network of Civil Society Organization of Nigeria. Thank you so much Thank for joining us. Thank you very much, uh, DPO, and uh, good morning, you. Okay, just take it up from there, Comrade Obidi. Looking at the subsidy removal and, of course, the intrigues that has been trailing the whole saga, the poorest of the poor are affected, the high and mighty are affected. How are we going to come out of this? Well, uh, to a large extent, I'm very sure that the poorest of the poor are affected, but I cannot be very sure about the high <laughs> and mighty. Everyone is uh, affected. No, 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 no. We can't be very sure. As a matter of fact, uh, we know that the issue of forced subsidy is that the high and mighty has, um, has um, conditioned the very poor in the iron grip of poverty and penury. I would need, need to break that down. The first subsidy is an oppressive tendency hmm. of, 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 the, of the high and mighty in the society, the political class, the elite, if you like, the cabals, preying on the ordinary citizen. Just to quickly buttress that, um, uh, first of all, as a way of foundation, do we want subsidy to go? The answer is yes. Hmm. Everybody wants subsidy to go. But the question is how do we remove the forced subsidy without killing those you are trying to save or you pretend uh, to, to save from uh, this very you know, evil uh, policy. Now, I will bring this analogy very quickly. Somebody visit a doctor and the doctor says, we need to operate on your spine in order to get you working and, uh, you know, functioning normally. And they say, okay, good. And the doctor say, fine. Book the operation. And the day of operation, sir, you bring your equipment and knife. And you say, okay, lie down on the table. And the first strike on the spine, pow! And the person wonder, are you trying to save me? This is stray bullets. I'm trying to kill me. Are you getting it now? Somebody is already in pain. Mm. And you bring your knife, you bring your equipment, operation equipment, and you pierce the person directly. In short, you kill the person before you kill that pain. So as a matter of fact, where is the place of anesthetics procedure that before you operate on that individual, you know the brains you kill some parts of the body so that it doesn't give some anesthetics feel the pain mm. while you operate to solve this problem okay so leadership and process in dispensing policy engagement matters in this country and as a matter of fact we don't have leaders who care about how the people feel mm. on your first day of inauguration the statement of mr president is that subsidy is gone in as much as everybody wants subsidy to go, 
you have ended up inflicting more pains mm. to the generality of the people. And ordinarily, what should be the process? You want subsidy to go. Fine. And refineries must be working. You must muster the courage. Because you cannot tell me that subsidy is a scam. And there are people who preside over the process of being subsidizing this boy. Mm. None of them is under pro. None of them is under arrest. None of them is being investigated by SCPC or EMCC. And we have a responsible government. Okay. Let, let's, we'll come back to you, Comrade Ogbidi. Let's quickly get to a giver. Um, do you think this whole saga, uh, do you think we have solutions out of it? Yes. There is a solution. If you are removing subsidy, plan for the masses. You plan for them. I will tell you today, if fear is 10,000 naira per liter, the top class will get it. What about the poor? You've not set up a committee to check this uh, for subsidy remover. Mm. You just come on your first day of inauguration that subsidy is gone. How do you want the masses to suffer? Set up a committee, like what my uh, 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 brother have said, Comrade Obidi. Mm. Our refinery, pump money to our refinery so that they can work. If a single person, Dangote, can build a refinery, Nigeria as a nation cannot build a refinery. But that called refinery is there. What well, is that? Well, we are encouraging private investors, private investment. Yes, if you make it as a private investment, mm. the masses will still suffer. How? Yes, let me tell you something. Tell me. If you make it a private uh, property, mm. now those people will get more benefits. Yes, they will get more benefits of it. They might even increase the price. If you are bringing a crude, for example, from Lagos, from a uh, um, Potaiko, for example, it is very easy if the refinery is there. But if you are taking it from uh, Potaiko to Lagos, that's another cost of uh, 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 transportation. Mm. So you are still adding muscle to injuries. So they should fix the one they have. If Kaduna refinery is working, Potaiko refinery is working, Wari refinery is working, mm. at least who have more uh, fear in circulation okay. and this subsidy removal of 18 would address it in a way that nobody would suffer. There is no plan at all. You just wake up one day and remove subsidy. Those subsidy that has been going on, where are the people? Bring them to book. Okay. Bring them to book so that we know that these people are the ones eating subsidy money. Where are you hiding them? All right. Uh, Comrade Obedi, you actually talked about the refinery is not working. Uh, do you think government should fix the refineries at now, this point? Now, look at it. There are four, don't forget. Now, uh, well, except, uh, except, there's, except you are counting uh, the new Dangote refinery, we know of uh, the Wari, Kaduna, <laughs> and Potakot, which literally are three. Mm. Uh -huh. And uh, we are also aware that very recently we now have modular refineries, refineries springing up, like mm. the one in the Do State. Now, look at it. It is no wisdom that someone has four cars or three cars. One breaks down, you pack it. The second one breaks down, you pack it. No repair, no maintenance. And the third one breaks down. You pack the third one and you start entering public transport. People will naturally wonder, is this family, is this person insane? Is this person normal? You have three cars. And because of a, because of one or two faults, you pack them up, and you are ref, you have refused to either maintain them or bring them up to speed. I will tell you for free that our refinery is not working. Is a deliberate attention by some cabal to continue to sustain the fuel subsidy regime. Mm. Because if you are not importing fuel, you will not be talking about fuel subsidy uh, 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 payments. Mm, okay. So our refineries are perpetually placed on comatose. Year in, year out, successive administration will have had a bad turn around maintenance. And billions are being voted in. 
And each time you vote billions to maintain a refinery so that they will be working up to capacity, you don't see any meaningful thing coming out of it. So, my brother, it is our refineries. I'll tell you that nothing is wrong with our refineries. Okay. People don't want the refinery to work. Because people are working there. People salaries are working are being paid. there. They are paying salaries. Mm. And, they tell you salaries. That, and they tell you that our refineries are working, but it's not producing up to capacity. So, what, what are you telling me? If there is any reason why, as to why it's not producing up to capacity, mm. fix it. Fix it and cut off importation of refined products. So, now, it is like government knowing the problem, but because the kind of government we have are such that encourage gross incompetency and corrupt tendencies at the detriment of the common man. That is why you see the substance of forces all over the earth. Not because ordinarily we cannot produce what will be sufficient for Nigerians, mm -hmm. but because people are feasting and benefiting. The market of first subsidy is, is a business for another cabal that you cannot touch. Don't forget that during the time of Jonathan, Jonathan's administration was very smooth until the day he said he wants to remove first subsidy. In short, the mother of the Minister of Finance, Ukoju 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 Wela, was kidnapped. Because, and the reason so a lot of people gave was because uh, those who kidnapped uh, the, the, the mom, mm -hmm. when they called her, one of the conditions was that she must pay subsidy to those who are importing for it. And she must keep her office down and depart from this country. So there are forces that are known to government, there are forces that are known to authority that are feasting and benefiting from first subsidy regime, and government cannot shy away from okay. it. Because if they cannot stop it, it means we have not reduced governance mm. and leadership to a point where ordinary individuals can hold government to a ransom. As a matter of fact, we are not building strong individuals that are stronger than our institutions. Mm. NPC, for example, which is the chief agency presiding over this fraud, because all they do is to give us figures every day, figures that are going nowhere, that are coming from nowhere. NPC, you could see what happened. Immediately, Mr. President said, four is the subsidy is gone. I will tell you ordinarily because his intention was not that first subsidy is, is, is removed, mm. because we already have subsidy paid up to the end of June. But immediately, you see NLPC the next day came out with a memo fixing the price of PMS to 511 in South South. Was that a wrong step in the right direction? It's a criminal ah. step. <laughs> Beyond wrong, you it's, think a, so? it's a criminal yes. step. I'll, okay. I'll tell you why. Okay, quickly. Now, there is difference between NLPC and NNPC Limited. Mm. The day NNPC became limited, they lose the strength to fix the price of petroleum products because they are not a private entity. So they don't have the authority to do they that? They don't have the local standing. And if you say the, the statement, the reckless statement of, the, of Mr. President when he said first subsidy is gone mm. at the first day, if you say that statement is real, it means the sector has been deregulated. Okay. And having been deregulated, mm. it means government or private, the, end of the, the private NPC lacks the power to fix price. Okay. In deregulation, mm. you allow individual fix their price and market forces determines the price because there will be competition. Okay. You and I, mm. let me love you this. Okay. You and I, Mr. Praise and my brother here, we can join our funds together and say, let's go and import foil. I will be selling in Ubawa and Uselu. And if we go to the international market and we are able to import foil at X price, we can sell for 200 naira. And if people in Sapla Road see that their foil is so high, they can drive to Uselu and buy yes. for my price. So that's the essence of deregulation. That's the essence of deregulation. Mm. So I haven't deregulated. So how this will be fixed. Mm. Okay. You, come, you, come, you came up with a list. 
Mind you, the day that announcement was made, a lot of filling stations already adjusted their pump price. Right. And some of them were three something, some of them were four something. And the criminal announcement by the NAPC Limited of 511 jacked up the price. So triggered the hike. To 511. Right. Okay. And as I speak I, I, to you mm. today, some of them that have conscience, along the local expressway here, somebody is saying 500 are 10. As against the criminal announcement of 511. It's just one error. And that person is making profit. He's making huge profit. Yes, that one is very I like it. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Like it. I would like you to react to that quickly. Come on. Okay. Hmm. Um, that NAPC Limited, hmm. the day I see NAPC Limited, I know that something is happening. You cannot just wake up one day and tell us this is the fat fat figures. If a dough is selling at 511, uh, uh, worry data should be selling at 515. No. Make it one price. We are one Nigeria. Why are you making Kaduna 400, for example, then you are making Abuja 500? No. So is there a kind of discrimination? Yes. Okay. If you check the northern part, it is high. They are not the one producing this uh, 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 crude. So they buy it at higher price. Yes. No, they buy it at a lower price okay. in the in, in the north, in the northern part. You think so? Yes. The price is there. Why in the southern part we buy it in a huge amount? I saw the one in uh, uh, Kaduna Kam. It was four eighty something. Why? We, the uh, southern uh, uh, region, are buying for 500 above. So let me quickly uh, uh, throw more light on that. Our uh, um, uh, our uh, um, refinery, mm. our refinery. If they don't know what they are doing, they should sack those. Uh, 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 people working in the refinery. Why? You beg them to lose their job? Yes, or rather, take them to other ministry. Because they ain't big. And you are saying the refineries are not working. And, they still do and you have people there. Mm. So, take them to other ministry, so that you reform the, 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 the refinery. Mm. Because if this place is not working, for example, you will not see people. That's true. You won't see anybody here. We know that this place is closed. But if you go to that place... Yeah, it's working, you, and it's still working. If you go to that place, mm. you see them early in the morning signing, receiving money for somewhere that you said is not working. Okay. Who are you deceiving? So they should be uh, sacked, taken to other ministries? They should be taken to other ministries because if you are going to sack a government worker, there is a procedure. Mm. So take them to other ministry. So that you can work on that refinery. Okay. Like what um, Commodore Bidi said, if you have three cars and you didn't repair that three cars, if one broke down two, three, who we'll asked you what is happening? I said before, if a dangote, a single person, can build a refinery, mm. Nigeria as a nation, the one we have is not working. Okay, let's come to our next president now. Uh, there have been negotiations, permutation, consultations uh, since the whole saga started. The president has been having meetings with TUC, LS, NLC, and of course, he had meetings with the key players in the oil sectors recently. Uh, what steps should he take to ensure that these issues is taken care of once and for all? You see, I, I have always, I have always told people that bulk of our problem in this country. It's leadership. A lot of our political class don't really understand what leadership is all about. If your aim of engaging into the place of authority is not to solve the problem of the man in the street and put them into consideration, then ordinarily you are not supposed to be there. Okay? It is only Nigerian leaders, even in the Bible, sir, God said, let there be waters of the sea. Mm -hmm. God created heaven and earth, created the rivers. Before he said, let there be fishes in the sea and animals in the field. 
Before fish came, there was water. So that when he created fish, they will have their natural habitat to live. Before animals were created, beasts in the field, there were vegetations. So that when they come, okay, they can feed. Before man was created, he created the heavens and the earth. So that when man come, he will have a place to stay. It is only Nigerian leaders that we create fish before they start before they start working on their pond. And before you finish the pond process, a lot of fishes might have been dead. Mm -hmm. now, so what are the steps? The, now, so now the point is this. Before you start looking for the way to ameliorate all of these things, before removing first subsidy, these are the things that were supposed to be done. First, consultation. Okay. Those who are going to be affected, the workers, the, the, the traders, the various segments of the society, and the key players, those persons, the major marketers and all of that. How do we go about this? So, I haven't made that mistake and now you are calling everybody what should be done and what should be done. A lot of persons are not taking advantage of it. Now, let me tell you what should be done. First of all, the ruling class need to, as a matter of urgency, abolish the policy of foreign medical trip for all government officials. That's one. That is one. We cut the cost of governance. Okay. If you are going to be appointed in any position, your kids and yourself must use Nigerian hospital and medical system. Including so the we are, sector. Including, including the commander-in-chief of armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. President, we do his medical process here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. If there is anything that they are doing in London that we don't have here, they should bring it to Nigeria. So we we'll cut off all those amounts for medical trip. That subsidy, that, that's, that money will be diverted. Then two, the minimum wage of workers in this country needs to be stepped up because PMS price virtually affects everything, including house rent in this country. Then we need to have a, an effective economic management system mm. where there will be price control. And price control will be determined by how much we are able to, to navigate around the micro and macroeconomic indices that will crash down inflation. Okay. If there is no price control, effective price control system, even if you give me 100,000 naira as minimum wage, before I leave my office, I'll spend it in only Gary, <laughs> okay. and I'll come back right. to, where, mm. to where we are. Okay. So, beyond the NFC mm. and the organized labor, who speaks for other, tra for other Nigerians, yeah. the larger population, the artisans, mm. we have to also fix electricity because production in this country is near zero. Okay. If I am producing, if I am, if for example, I am a barber, what I, what I spend in PMS, fuel, because there is no electricity, alone, eats up my profit, okay. and yet I still pay tax. Okay, okay, Comrade Obidi, we we'll like, we'll like to wrap up for me, and but let's just quickly take your reaction, uh, Ogivia. Uh, there are speculations that this whole subsidy removal saga is to distract Nigerians from the reality on ground. People said it doesn't exist. Why some say this exists? It's existing. But however, do you agree with the fact that it's a means to distract Nigerians? Um, honorably, I don't agree with that. Okay. Because they've already made their own uh, uh, plan that they want to remove subsidy. The three major presidential candidates during their campaign, they were telling us that they want to remove subsidy. Mm, that's, true. that's what um, Obi told us. Atiku. Um, our president, Tenebu, mm. that they are subsidizing for, for Niger, Cameroon, and other um, neighboring countries around. So I don't see that as if they don't know what they are doing. They already know what they are, they are doing. So it's not a means to so distract So it's not a means of uh, distracting Nigeria because they know that we can adapt to any situation. Mm. Yes, Nigeria can adapt to any situation. If uh, they already have that plan that they want to do this uh, thing, it's not a distraction. Okay. So they've been saying it for for think for over six months. Mm. So it's not a distraction at all. Okay. 
It's not. All right, since it's not a distraction. Yeah, you <laughs> see, the truth is this. Mm. It, Nigerians are finding it very difficult to believe their leaders. Okay. And that is because of the antecedents. So trust is a major challenge. Trust is a major challenge. Mm. And because of the antecedents of these same leaders. Take, for example, in 2012, the, remember the Jonathan administration and the first subsidy protest? 2011-2012. Across the country. Mm. The president in 2023 that is removing first subsidy led that major protest in the southwestern part of this country, making provision for food and drinks for those that were protesting. And what was the protest? That there is nothing like foreign subsidy in 2012. And in his inaugural speech, and in 20, he said subsidy has been removed. Now that you are start balance. now you are telling us that you want to remove what you said does not exist many years ago. So what you could not see over eight years, it means what Jonathan was seeing seven, eight years ago. It took you seven years to see it today. Why do we crucify? Could that be that because he's not in he wasn't in government. He wasn't the president. He was in government. Was in government this now. person he, has been he's, our he's political just, leader. He's just a national leader no, sir, of the old progressive. When you, now, when you say, when he, 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 he wasn't this, the president. This person, no. These persons that we are talking about, mm -hmm. in short, many of them are government himself. You think as so? A, as a matter of fact, mm. this person that we are talking about has been governor of Lagos State for several years. So you know the antics, you know the intrigues. You know the, the, the information that any government at that level okay. should have. So, you cannot tell me that you are not aware. Okay. The truth is that we play politics with sensitive aspects of this country. All right. If Jonathan, as we are allowed to remove first subsidy with his models, okay. with his model, mm. rolling out palliatives, mm. buses, and bringing those monies okay. that we are saved, at that time, uh, into all that uh, okay. aspect of the economy. Okay, we'll Maybe be, by now we uh, have not passed we'll, that. We'll be, we'll be moving to our Abuja Network Center now for their own segment. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll take a short break now. And of course, TMI continues. <laughs> 